Hello. Does this work? Hi. Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to the announcement, the annual announcement of the finalists for the Art and Wolf Action Awards. I know there's a lot of people who are here who are finalists, so just raise your hands if you were either a judge or if, or, well, actually, don't, the finalists don't say anything. If you're a judge in the room, raise your hand, just so we know who's here, Viviana. Okay. Well, and you guys. Okay. Uh, my name is Saskia. I'm the founder of the Institute for Art and Old Faction and the Art and Old Faction Awards. I'm somewhere, I think it's maybe 3 a.m. for me, so forgive me if I fall over. I'm joined here by uh, Jeff, who's on the board of directors at the Institute for Art and Old Faction, Nikki, who's with Pushpack, a partner of the awards, Spiros, who was a judge, and Marta, who was a judge. Um, and thank you for coming, and we're thrilled to be here again yet another year. So, here's our logo. So, first, I just need to quickly thank our partners. Uh, first of all, this year, our presenting partner is IFF. So thank you, IFF. Lucky Scent and Scent Bar, joining us again since the beginning. Essence, uh, thank you, Silvio and Valentina for being... They're not here. Thank you, wherever you are. Um, Pushback, uh, a returning partner. Nikki's here representing with Mark somewhere. Perfumer's Apprentice. Discount Vials. Uh, yeah, Discount Vials, they're based in the US. Ne Magazine, Dominique, not here yet. Autumn 70, who does our graphic design. Scent Culture Initiative, who uh, takes all our data and turns it into information. And also, quickly, I need to thank Sarah Horowitz Parfum and the Perfumer's Studio for supporting us this year. Okay. So I'm going to talk very briefly about the judging because it's the core of what we do. Um, our judging uh, follows a pretty rigorous code of ethics, which you can see here. The most important thing about our judging is it's done blind uh, in these little anonymous vials. So the judges only get a number and a text <laughs> describing the scent with all names omitted. The reason we do this is sort of core to what the Art and Olfaction Awards are about. We're trying to level the space of judging so that people are being judged on the juice alone, which as everybody knows in perfumery can be challenging with all the marketing. So we're trying to get to the core of what it's about, which is perfume. Uh, so for that reason, all the judges have to sign off on this code of ethics. And we're very careful about who we, uh, who we bring in as judges. Um, and that makes it work. Any questions? Okay. So I'm going to move it over to my friends and colleagues over here. Uh, Jeff is going to represent or talk about the judges themselves, who they are. Hi, everybody. I'm Jeffrey Paul. I'm on the board of the Institute. And, oh, good, it's up there. As you can see, for the judges, for short listing judges in independent category, we have Andy Tower, Bibiana Prival, Friedrich Jacques. Harold Lubner, Mark Benke, Rachel Syme. Shortlist judging for artisan category, Chris Gordon, Hank Jenkins, Marta Siembab, Matthias Yanke, Spiros, right here, Drusopoulos, Ulrike No. Finalist judges, artesian and independent, Dave Appel, Denise Beaulieu, Eddie Buliki, Jane Doré, Katie Puckert, and the Sadikichi Award for Eric's Experimental Scent is Anna Gerber, Arabelle Sicardi, Claire Evans, Darren Klein, Deji Bryce Olukuntun, Simon Niedenthal, and the Aftel Award for Handmade Perfume, Daniel Patterson, Harold McGee, and Mandy Aftel. Those are our judges. Thanks, Jeff. Okay, so Nikki's gonna announce the uh, finalists in the artisan category. Hello. This is the exciting bit. So this is for brands that are owned or co-owned by the perfumer who initiated and created the submissions formula in-house released under the brand's name. And, can I? Okay, so the first one is 15 by OSM, 
perfumer Kyle Mock Cannenberg with Michael Mock Cannenberg. Carré Blanc by The Zoo, perfumers Christophe Lodamiel and Andrew Everett. Gardener's Glove by Sinclair Scents, perfumer Diane Sinclair. Hyde by Hiram Green Perfumes, perfumer Hiram Green. Are any of the finalists? When you hear your name, please take a moment. Irresistible by April Aromatics, perfumer Tanya Bucknick. No, is here. <laughs> Lanima Della Rossa by Ofori, perfumers Eugene O and Emrys O. La Bibliothèque by Nez Zen. Perfumer Romain Pontussier and Aurélie Gillon. <laughs> Powder and Dust by SP Parfum. Perfumer Sven Prixcolé with Jana Tomelis. <laughs> Rosé All Day by Gallagher Fragrances. Perfumer Daniel Gallagher. Violetta by Jade Daisy Perfumes, perfumer Stacy Lazara. That's it. Thank you, Nikki. Hold on, I have to Instagram this. It's like, yeah, pretty crucial. You're welcome. Instagram moment. Everybody done? <laughs> Mediated reality. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Oh, sorry, Marta, you're next. Okay, thank you. It's been my first year as a judge, and I must tell you, it didn't really feel like judging anything. It was more like dating, almost 150 people in one month. So beat that, Tinder. And just to remind everyone, the uh, independent category is for brands that employed an outside perfumer or a fragrance house to uh, create the formula, which was later released under the brand's name. Um, let's start with uh, the letter A. <laughs> we have Atlant uh, by Sarah Baker Perfumes, with perfumer Sarah Baker and Sarah, uh, sorry, sorry, perfumer Sarah McCartney and Sarah Baker as creative director. Then B is for Birds in Paradise by Régime de Fleur with Pierre Nagrin as perfumer and creative directors Elia Raza and Ezra Woods from the USA. <laughs> then Colorado by American perfumer uh, Don Spencer Hurwitz and Dave Kern as creative director. D is for Dulceo by Curata from Canada, with Becky Shalowski as perfumer and Serena Rogers as creative director. Oh, <laughs> okay, I have an analog copy here, so I can continue <laughs> with F. <laughs> Régime de Fleur with Mathieu Nardin as perfumer, and again, Elia Raza and Ezra Woods as creative directors. Uh, Régime de Fleur from the USA. Next is Migration de l'Arbre by Senior Con from France, Johan McCall, perfumer, and Joseph Bertillon, Emily Bertillon as creative directors. <laughs> Rake and Ruin by Beaufort London, Julie Dunkley, and Leo Crabtree from the UK. Red yeah, Shoes no. 
I suck from at Perfumers this. to Seals Sarokian by Jacques Fat Parfum and Rania Naim as creative director. Ryan Richmond's Rich Mess with perfumer Christophe Lodaviel and Ryan Richmond as creative director. <laughs> Finally, Rubacuori by Mirum S from Italy, Dominique Mölhausen as perfumer, Fulvio Franzoni as creative director. <laughs> Congratulations and good luck to all finalists. Thank you, Marza. We're gonna now present the Sadakichi Award, uh, presented by Spiros, and I'll, I'll try not to mess it up. Hello everyone, my name is Spiros Dorosopoulos. I was a, a shortlisting judge for the artisan category this year, but I'm presenting you the Sadakichi, the finalists for the Sadakichi Awards, five finalists. Um, starting with Diary of Smells, Glass Ceiling, from Brazil. Artist is Joseli Carvalho, and the perfumer is Leandro Petit. Then we have tangible, tangible Sense, composition of Rose in the Air. Uh, artist and perfumer is Maki Ueda. <laughs> Every Word Was Once an Animal, from the USA. Carla Bengston and Carla Bengston, both the artist and the perfumer. <laughs> Smell Forward, from Switzerland. Artist is Priscilla Yotsu, and the perfumer was, is Andreas Willem. And last but not least, Veneno from Portugal by Mikel Matos, and the perfumer is Christian Carbonell. Okay, so now I'm gonna just briefly explain what the discretionary awards are this year. So unlike the... Uh, Artisan, Independent, and Sadakichi Award, the discretionary awards, with one exception, are given by us, by the Institute for Art and Olfaction and a Board of Advisors, to people who are moving forward in their specific spaces with those awards. So the first award we're gonna be giving out is the Aftel Award for Handmade Perfume. Now this is actually judged blind. The top 10 qualifying artisan perfumes in the artisan category get passed along to a second panel of judges that then select the winner, which will announce on May 2nd at the awards. The second one uh, is the Contribution to Scent Culture Award. This uh, award is given to one outstanding person who made a significant contribution to global public awareness of artisan, independent, and experimental practices with scent in 2018. And then the third award, which is new this year, is the Septimus Pies Visionary Award, the title was not my idea, but it's good. Uh, is everybody familiar with Septimus Pies? Septimus Pies um, was uh, an inventor who invented uh, a system for qualifying perfume based on music notes, and he created this sort of organ where you play the music and scent would come out. Uh, so honoring that sort of will to invent, we're adding this visionary award and it, it will be given for the first time in May, and it's gonna be given on an annual basis to an outstanding person showing proof of exceptional vision with regards to how scent is used, developed, or imagined. Any questions about that? Okay. And that's it, we're announcing the winners on May 2nd in this beautiful space, the oldest building in Amsterdam, at the Oude Kerk in Amsterdam. Uh, and if you're coming, we can't wait to see you there. And that's, that's our presentation. Thank you so much for being here. And congratulations to the finalists. And thank you to the judges.